Welcome to Certify Me. We're an online forklift certification program. This is Operator Joe and Gary, his supervisor, your official Certify Me demonstration team. This is what Joe is learning at the moment. It may be helpful for you to remember these parts of the forklift. Here are three scenarios that commonly lead to disaster. Lesson one, vehicle stability. The position of the load as well as the height of the forks is very important. When in a raised position, the load can cause the mass to act as a lever and cause the forklift to lose control and fall forward, which may cause a tip over. This is why sharp turns and sudden stops with a raised uneven load are dangerous. Now let's take a look at how Joe should have carried that load. While traveling, the load should always be kept 6 to 12 inches above the floor to be positioned in the center of the stability triangle, creating a balanced load and more importantly, keeping the workplace safe. Let's hope Joe has learned his lesson. Lesson 2. Safe operation on ramps and other slopes. Downhill and uphill grades such as ramps require extra caution. I don't think you want to do that, Joe. Let's try that again. When moving a load, regardless of direction, always move with the forks pointing up the grade. And don't forget to wear your seatbelt. Lesson three, difference between automobile and forklift steering. Lift trucks have very few things in common with a car. The turning radius is much tighter. In tight turns, the rear end swings out, causing the driver to lose control. can result in damage and injury. We don't want to end up like Gary. Let's try that again. In tight turns, always turn with ease and care to maintain control to keep a safe and happy workplace. Enroll your operators today at CertifyMe.net. Online forklift operator training and certification. Brought to you by CertifyMe.net, the leader in virtual reality safety training and certification. All rights reserved.